as I have shown you how to do it for the first name and the last name. Just to save your time, I have done it for company name, role in company, address, email, phone number. So whatever we have in this particular Excel, I have taken the names of those columns and have entered them here okay with row followed by that column number and the selector that I have passed to this have been taken from the same method that I have shown you okay so this is how a final code will look like the read range to read that particular Excel open browser to open that particular website and click activity to click on that start button to start the RPA challenge then for each row to be able to fetch each row from that and typing to to enter the data into that those particular sheet fields okay we have them all in place and we have the submit button also let me close this Excel because if that is open this particular thing will fail to read it because it will throw an error saying it is being used by another user so we are all set let's run this particular process now run as we can see it's trying to launch it and it's, it has already started entering the data You can find yeah, this time it's correct. It is able to enter the address into the address, last name into the last name, and every field respective to that particular text field. It's round 7 right now. See with how much ease it is able to enter the data. That's done. Let me open this website. The accuracy, the success rate was 100%. We were able to enter 70 fields. The time taken is 78 seconds. This is something that we can reduce as we work more on this particular process. This was about the RPA challenge.